Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hi everybody, Pastor Everett. Uh, so excited to be with you tonight. Um, ex excited about all that God is doing. God is, I, I think God is always doing things. Sometimes we don't always see what he's doing. Sometimes we're not always on the same page with him. Uh, but today I want to bring uh, just a, a, a little verse to you uh, that I, I found really interesting. It's found in Colossians. It's kind of deep in the, uh, towards the latter part of the New Testament. Um, Colossians is a very special book to me. A lot of times I'll just, uh, if, if I'm uh, discouraged or I've, I really want to just read, read a, uh, some Bible, I'll turn to Colossians and you can just read the whole, uh, the whole book of Colossians and uh, really start to memorize some of the, uh, the, the really fundamental truths that we'll find in the Word of God. And I, I like to go there. Um, and so I, I found this verse. It says in Colossians chapter 4, verses 5 and 6, it says, walk in wisdom. And let's, let's just stop right there for a minute because how many of us, if we were to take a poll, you know, a Gallup poll or whatever, how many of us could say, I have not always walked in wisdom? <laughs> and then uh, uh, how many, uh, let me say it like this, how many of you know somebody that hasn't always walked in wisdom? <laughs> it's, easy to, it's easy to point the finger at somebody else, and it's often hard to really think about ourselves a little bit when we start talking about walking in wisdom. Wisdom is really uh, knowledge, but it's, it's, it's how you apply knowledge to your, your life or your circumstance. This is what uh, uh, gives, uh, makes people take pause and look at, at your life and say, wow, that's, that's a wise person there. And the truth is, is that wisdom is a gift that God gives us, uh, and he gives us for the circumstances that we're in. He doesn't, he doesn't give you wisdom not to use it. He gives it to you to use it or apply it into your life. And, and so we take courage when we, when we, when we think about, you know, I, I need wisdom. I, and so maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, we can go to other verses, but it's important to know that if you need wisdom, uh, you can ask God for wisdom and he'll give it to you. So, so if, if I need, it's like having a wise friend in your life. Sometimes uh, we, we, have to, we, we need friends that are wiser than us, or maybe not necessarily wiser than us, but are going the same direction as us. And then we can begin to experience uh, wisdom or a, another voice in our life, right? I, I need, uh, sometimes I need another voice. I need another uh, opinion on the matter. And, and the truth is, is that that's such a healthy uh, position to be in. It's like we, we can say it, I don't have all the answers. And the truth is, is that we really don't have all the answers. We're, we're seeking that out. And uh, nor, nor do we know what's going to happen tomorrow. The truth is, is what's going to happen tomorrow, God knows, but I don't know. And so I have to trust the one that's in tomorrow with my moment today, right? And so then, I, then I, that's, that's wisdom. I, I'm speaking to you from wisdom, right? So I, be, I can begin to live that out. I, I found it interesting that it says, walk in wisdom toward, you know, like, like why, why do I need, need wisdom? Because I don't need wisdom if I'm gonna shut the door and never leave my, my bedroom. <laughs> if I'm gonna stay in my home, I don't really need wisdom necessarily because nobody else has to interact with me. In other words, I don't have a, uh, a plan in my life to go, to go anywhere. I'm just going to stay right where I, I am. And the truth is, is in, in, in my, whether it's in my personal relationship with God, I want that to be growing. If it's in a relationship with someone else, my wife or my, my, uh, my husband or, or my kids, I want that relationship to be growing. I don't want to limit what God can do in, through, through any relationship that I have. And so I always want to be going somewhere, right? If we were together, I would say this to you. I would say, turn to your neighbor right now and tell him I'm going somewhere. Maybe you need to tell yourself that uh, when, you, when you get stuck in a thought or a, uh, uh, maybe a rut or, or, a, or even a bad habit. Say, hey, I'm going, I'm going to go somewhere today. I'm, I'm going to go somewhere different today. I'm going to experience a new uh, emotion today. I'm going to experience a new, a new relationship with whatever it is, uh, whether it's your past or your, even your future. Let's experience something new. Let's go toward something. But it says, it says, walk with wisdom toward them that are without. It doesn't say walk with wisdom with what's inside of me. Because <laughs> what's inside of you 
and who you listen to and who you talk to all the time inside of your brain there, inside of your heart, is going to be with you when you get to whatever you're go- wherever you're going. It's, it's not about that relationship with what's inside of us. He's, uh, uh, he's, Paul is reminding of us, he's, he's reminding us that we have to walk in wisdom towards those that are without. Woo, I could stop right there and preach a whole message to you about the importance of a witness, the witness that you have to others around you. The, the importance of being a witness in the middle of the struggle, in the middle of the trial, in the middle of the, the whatever bad thing you're going through or whatever thing it seems awful large, whatever thing you, seems that you can't control, walk with wisdom so, so that somebody else can look at you and go, how is it that they can be like that? How, how can they stand? How can they be smiling and have joy in our... See, because I have a witness, right? I have a witness to those around me. People will always look to somebody for an answer. And if they see the answer they're looking for, for their own life in you, then, then you have an opportunity to be the witness, right? That can change the course of history for somebody else's life. That can change the course of history for a whole other family. That can change the course of history for a whole other city. That can change the course of history. See, I can keep going with that because the truth is, is it's always bigger than we think it is. It's, there's always more to do. There's always something greater coming our way. And, and we have to remember that, that we're supposed to be walking <laughs> out the wisdom, walking out the, the love, walking out the peace, walking out the, 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 not the anxiety and the hurt and the pain. And, and sometimes it's, it's, it's easy to be get, get caught up in moments where we have anxiety, hurt, and pain. And then we begin to witness to others that we've got a trouble and we're only doing that because we're expecting someone to feel sorry for us. But the truth is, if we take our eyes off of all of the things that have hurt us and held us back for so long, we can begin to experience joy and peace. And then we can begin to give that away to someone else. That's what Paul's saying. Walk with wisdom towards those that are without. Right? Because, because we, have to, we have a responsibility to redeem the time. Redeem the time that we have. Because we only have a certain amount of time. Right? We, don't have, we don't have forever here on the earth. We don't have uh, 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 unlimited time here. We have, we have, we have a limit. There, time is of a limit here. And I, I have to remember that I was redeemed. <laughs> I was set free. I was healed. I was, I was restored. And the truth is that's why we redeem the time because we, and we walk with wisdom because we know that we have been through it ourselves. I've been through it. And maybe, maybe you should tell yourself that uh, right now, I've been through it. I've been through it. And I, I know that all the way through it, it was hard. And I didn't know if I was going to make it to the next moment. I didn't know if I could make it. But I'm going to tell you that you did make it. You did make it. That, therefore, I have to redeem my time. I have to be wise. And I got to be a witness. And I got to walk it out for someone else. For someone else to see that there is a God. For someone else to know that there is an answer. And it doesn't always have to, have to be the, look the way I think it should look. It doesn't always have to, have to feel good to me. I have to trust that God is working it out in my life. That's what wisdom come, where wisdom co- really comes in, is when I know that, that I know that I know that God is working it all out. That's wisdom. That's wisdom. Redeeming the time. And then it goes on to talk. He's, in verse 6 he says, let your speech. Why would he say that? Let your speech, let, let the words of your mouth, we, we read that a couple weeks ago, and the meditation of your heart be acceptable in, in God's sight, right? He, let it be acceptable to him. And so Paul says, let the speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, <laughs> that, you may, that, that you may know how you ought to answer every man. So, 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 you know, that, that opinion that you have about the circumstance, that, that opinion should always be seasoned with grace. Because just because you're not going through what someone else is going through, because we're all going through something, but just because you're not going through what they're going through, don't say, uh, you know, back when I was, you know, and I had my, my you know, blah, 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 blah. they don't want to know that because they, 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 they just need to know that you have an answer for them, right? So I, I put my grace on that. That word that I say, what can I say today that would show love towards that person? 
You know, what, what can I do today? And so he says, and season with salt so that we, we're the salt of the earth is what the Bible says. You know, we're the light of the world. And so I'm here to put a little salt on it, right? To show you a little love, to give you a little grace. I'm here to be the light. I'm here to be a, a witness in whatever's going on, in whatever's life. And, and, and the reason why God often puts us in the middle of whatever's going on in someone else's life is just to be a witness. And that takes wisdom. That takes courage to turn your eyes off of your agenda and to put it on God's agenda. What do you want me to say today, God? What do you want me to, who do you want me to be today, God? And that, that's, a, that's a choice that I make because I have experienced the love of God. Amen? And I think that's so powerful. Walk in wisdom. Walk in wisdom. Walk in wisdom. To those that are without, walk in wisdom. The, the wisdom that God gives us is not for ourselves. It's for someone else. And that's a powerful truth that, that I think you, we, should, we should really go to God. And that's, I just want to pray real quick with you. And we're just going to pray like this. Father, touch our hearts. Touch our minds. Give us wisdom. Help us to hear your word and have the courage to live it out, to be a witness. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You know, wherever you are and whatever's going on, uh, we, we want to connect with you. So if you go to my breakthrough, that's one word, dot online, uh, you can, you can uh, subscribe or like us on all of our social media pl platforms. But more importantly, we really want to connect with you. So, you know, leave a comment. You know, if you're in the Rockford area, we want to invite you to church. We have a service on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. We have a, a prayer service at, on Tuesdays at, at 6.30. And we have a Bible study at, at Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. We want to invite you to any of those services and come in and get connected, get surrounded with people that love God, people that have experienced a, you know, God's breakthrough. Amen? It's time that we experience God's breakthrough. It's time that we shake off some of those old things that have held us back. It's time that we encourage one another in the faith. It's, it's time that we come together with a song and a hymn and, and rejoicing in our heart and begin to experience God's move, God's great move. He's doing a great move. And, and so I, I'm excited about revival breaking out. I'm excited about people getting saved. I'm excited about lives being turned around. I'm excited about your breakthrough. Amen? And so come on out and visit us. Share this message. Just hit share. And sit. let's just see what God will do. I mean, <laughs> sometimes it's like, I can't go to church. I can't go. I got all these excuses why I can't go to church. But you don't, there's no excuse why you can't hit share. It's just, it's just, you got to move past the fear of it, right? The fear of, the, the fear of uh, uh, someone thinking different about you. But just hit share and let's see what God will do. God bless you. Have a great day. We look forward to seeing you real soon.